Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, so that means that it is a DIY day. And today I am gonna use this stencil from Stencil Revolution and I'm gonna put it on this bag. So I'm gonna show you how to put it on there and how to make it look all cute and everything like that. These stencils are reusable. I've already used it a couple times to make it different signs and stuff. So I'm super excited to share this with you. Anyway, if you have any questions or anything like that, please leave it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also, if you like DIY videos, please consider subscribing and let's get started. Okay, so for this video, I have partnered with Stencil Revolution. This is a fun family owned business. They have so many cute stencils to choose from. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite decor stencils. They do have other categories. Um, they come in lots of different sizes, so you can have like a huge one or you can have a smaller one. You can put them on a lot of different things. Your options are really endless. You could put it on a wood sign, you could put it on your door, you could put it on a bag or clothing or anything like that. They're priced really well. They have great prices. These stencils are super thick, so if you're painting or spray painting or however you're transferring it onto your thing, it won't bleed. Anyway, I'm going to leave you the link below. Go check them out. Tell them I sent you if you want. Anyway, let's just get right on to this video. Okay, so I just taped the stencil directly onto the bag where I wanted it, just using like scotch tape, nothing special. And then I'm just using crafter's paint, and I'm just going to paint the entire thing. I use my finger and a brush. You just want to kind of dab it directly on top. Don't try and like shove it around the sides or it might go underneath the stencil. You don't want it to bleed. But anyway, it was very easy. Like I wasn't worried about it bleeding at all and it didn't bleed. So throughout the whole video, you'll see me either using the brush or my finger just depending on the smaller areas. And I'm kind of just dabbing it in place, but... That's about it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Also, I am going to do a video using that Country Kitchen stencil that I got, and I'm going to spray paint that. So that's going to be a different method, and it's also going to be on wood. So be on the lookout for that because that will be a little bit different if you're not liking this style of it. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. If you have any questions, again, please leave them below and also stay Check out those stencils, I will leave the link below.
Okay, and I just want you to be aware of what type of fabric or stuff that you're putting this on. This orange that I put on, I put on so many different coats. And when I peeled it off, it like absorbed all into the material and you could barely even see it. And it was just the orange. So it could have been the paint that I used. It could have been a mixture of the paint and the material. So just be aware of what you're putting it on. If it's like absorbing into the material, try a different color, try a different texture of paint or whatever. So I am just gonna finish up painting this, then I'm gonna let it dry. It took about two hours to dry, maybe a little bit longer. Because The only reason that is, is because I put so many layers of orange on there. You also want to make sure that you don't have like a whole bunch of wet spots on the actual stencil. So if you have some like wet globs on the stencil, kind of just wipe that off if you can. So that when you're peeling it off, it won't get on your material or anything. Okay, so this is my end result. I really love it. Um, as you can see, it didn't, right here, it didn't really work. The orange like soaked way in. And so it didn't really work. It worked a little bit right there, but this material just soaked up the orange. I wanted to show you that it does work on different types of material. I did it on this one and it worked just fine. It just must have been this bag, but I kind of like the subtle orange right there. So anyway, I also wanted to show you, I peeled it off just fine and it just soaked up that orange. Like you couldn't even see it at all. And I added a little bit more orange right there, but then I wanted to show you that these come clean. Like I just, obviously it's not perfectly clean because I was just in a hurry, but I put it in some hot water and just got a washcloth and just rubbed it right off. So now I can use it for anything else. If I want to make a sign or something, I honestly think I'm going to put, get a piece of metal or um, cardboard and make it like to put a sign on my craft room door. So like this is my craft room door, you know? Anyway, <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I will put the link below for these stencils. They are awesome. Go check them out. Um, tell them I sent you if you want. Anyway, I hope you like this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, please leave it in the comments down below and I will answer them for you as I get them. And we will catch you next time.